Hello there and welcome back. In this video I am going to show you how you can write your own uh, class-based context manager. So let's get to it. What is a context manager? In my understanding, context manager is something that uh, wraps additional functionality uh, in the form of a with statement. So in the old ages if you wanted to, let's say, read a file, you would have to do something like this. Open my file.txt, read file.read, and file.close. Depending on your operating system and Python version, the following situation can happen. The worst case scenario is that with this first line you open a file for reading, this operation fails, and this close function is either going to close the file handle or not. And <clears throat> let's say you have an environment where you have to operate on thousands and thousands of files. And uh, <clears throat> the worst case scenario that can happen is that uh, you run out of file handles and that is going to crash the operating system. And <coughs> the amazing core developers of Python figured that you should provide a way to handle these files more safely. So <coughs> the first thing you can do is say that you want to open this file and you will try to write to that file whatever you uh, read from that file or well, let's say we want to write to that file so you will try to write whatever you want oh what that's not a syntax and finally you will close the file this will make sure that the file handle is handled properly so you don't have to worry about the situation that might arise from the previous one but the new winds that are blowing in python that point towards uh, improvement say that you should use the with statement which will take care of this for you automatically. It will reduce the extra lines you need to type and uh, it will look more urgently. So, with open my file.txt, write as my file, we will write whatever we want and uh, what happens when you have let's say a situation where you have to write a script that writes to a file and it is run by different users at different times and you would like to let's say audit who accesses that file and when it was accessed and so on. Then you can write your own custom class which will enable you this functionality. So <coughs> my writer inherits from the object based class. You will have an init function which will take a name and the method to open this file and set that file equals open name method. We will have an enter function which will be called by the with statement when you have entered this block here. So it will just simply return the file which was open for reading, or writing, or, or whatever. 
um, we will have the exit function <coughs> that is going to take a type, a value, and a trace as arguments. And all it will do is close the file. So basically, this is a very generic example, but if you want to, let's say, spice it up a little bit, uh, let's see how it looks like when it is running. So, <coughs> navigate to this demo and as you can see the folder is empty I start type and it's not working because double column was like that so see this Tesla file was created and by default you do not have any kind of uh, let's say new line appending in this writing <coughs> but it writes whatever you give it to and uh, these uh, numbers you see return those are the bytes that were written to that specific file. So, <clears throat> what I wanted to do is audit what have happened. So, I will import the OS module, and if you use the OS module, you have the get and Username on Windows, which returns your username. So <clears throat> I'm going to open the logs that you see for writing as audit, and I'm going to write to the file. that the file was opened by file oh, let's do it this way for mode by I will format the name the method and the OS get and username and in the end I'm going to open a new method so <clears throat> this will note that uh, the file was open and let's change it to the value so that way others are going to be able to open this file without overwriting a previous user's actions. So the handle was returned. I do not need the format anymore. And Uh, 
file was closed. This is also going to be appended here. So CRD one. Let's try how this uh, class does. With file test with fm mode as my fm. I would like to try it. this. fail because I have forgotten my file. So my file is wrong. This that those oh my god so many typing errors. seems to be working because we got these values we wanted to write to the file and as you can see the file test file for mode A was opened by ripper path. The handler was returned and the file was closed. So this is a pretty good example how you can write your own class based custom context manager and uh, this is also a powerful concept if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more thank you for watching